Hey everybody, Tyler here, and today I am going to do a review on my Prada sunglasses, as you can probably have read by the title on this uh, that you clicked on. So, this is the box that my sunglasses came in. It is a very inky blue, I would say. I'm just going to get back just here to make sure that you can see. Okay, so it's a very inky blue. It's almost black, but it is a very dark inky blue with Prada um, in silver foil. On the back, there's no stickers or anything. Um, with some of the sunglasses, they'll have stickers to for the models and everything, but not, that's not on here. When we open it up, you have... Ooh, here we go. We have Prada. This is just like a very thick cardboard. Um, Oh, I guess it goes both ways. So this has Prada and like little loops all around there. That's the top part. You open it up, you get the sunglasses. I'll save that for a minute. Mod bottom of the box just looks like this, nothing special. And then here I ha just have the receipt. Okay. So. The case itself is black, and you can definitely tell when you, let's see if you can tell between these. See, see how you can, in this lighting, you can definitely tell this is a lot, a little, I guess I would say bluer than this one. This is kind of like really dark indigo. This is just black. I don't think this is actual leather, but it's made, it's made to look like Safiano leather, which Prada is the company that actually invented Safiano leather, but I don't believe that this is. And then, so this is a pretty unique case as in the way it opens. If you look here, it's Prada embossed, uh, it's a, um, I think they call it an invisible embossing, so you can't, there's no foil on it, so it's just a naked embossing. You open it up like this, and then here are the sunglasses. I'm going to just take this up for a minute. Inside you have, let's see if we can get a good pic, a good shot of this. We have micro suede. It's um, yeah, I'd say it's a micro suede. You have Prada embossed on here. This isn't a naked one, as you can see. It has a silver foil in it. That and the microfiber lining. It's hard to see, but it continues on all around this. So everything that's on the inside is micro. What did I say? Micro suede. And then you also when you get the sunglasses. With most sunglasses you'll get these. It's a cleaning cloth. And let's see. Yeah, over this way. So this is the cleaning cloth that you get. If you look really close, if I bring it up right here, you can see Prada, naked and boss. See? This is black. It might be showing up gray, but it's I'd say it's black. And this is just for, you know, cleaning your um, sunglasses, which I'm actually going to do right before I show you. Actually, I'll show you. Wait, I'll show you. Just show you the sunglasses now. So these are the sunglasses that I bought. These were, um, I would say, the first designer's pairs of sunglasses that I bought. The Ray Bans were actually my first, but I think that Prada is an actual designer. Ray Ban is more of just like a company. If uh, do you know, I, I yeah, wow, word jumbled. I don't consider Ray-Ban like a designer company. I mean, they're nice sunglasses, but I wouldn't cons consider them to be designer. So they're a classic aviator style. These are... The size of the um, lenses are 60 millimeters wide, which is, a very, which is pretty large. And then we have the side. This is like a navy color with the Prada... Ooh. Prada triangle. There we go. The Prada triangle in there, and it says, oh, "Sorry, I'm trying to keep still and focus at the same time." This is Prada Milano. Sorry, uh, everything's shaking. I'm sorry. And then I let's see. It also says, "Wow, that's really tiny." It says, "D A L nineteen thirteen." That's what it says on the little banner right there. And you can see, those are fake screws. And this does not protrude, as you can see. It's just flush. So, what I believe is that there's like a coating on here. As you can see, it's shiny. 
inside we have inside we have Prada logo made in Italy. Um, I think that's a copyright um, certificate. You can see the screws on the other temple. I'm trying to do this the best way. We have. I believe this one's the model. So this is SPR53Q. So if you would like to buy these sunglasses, woo, go into Google and search right there. SPR53Q. I believe, I can't remember which one's the color code. Fit six, the number's right here. 60 is for the width of the the longest part of the um, lenses. 13 is the length of the temples. No, 13 is the bridge, I believe. So the bridge is in between here. And then... I believe that says 1BC-2H2. I think that might be the color code. 140 is the length of the temple. And 2N... There we go. 2N is the strength of it. So this is... so. N means that it's not polarized. If it was polarized, it would have a P. And then the 2 means that it has a moderate level of protection. Um, I wouldn't say protection, but how, like, how much you can see out of it. So I only have one pair of sunglasses that are 3 and they're 3 P. That is the Versace sunglasses, which I'll link in the video at the very end of this. That's the only pair that I have that are 3N, and those are very dark. These are... I don't know if you can see through the lenses. See, they they definitely darken, but they're not a heavy dark. And they're also gradient, so as you can see, as I move it, you can see it gets darker and lighter. Okay, so this is what the sunglasses look like on... I really like how these feel, I like how they fit, they don't wiggle or move when I move my head up and down or side to side or any which way, which is great. One thing that I think helps with that is how thick the temples are. I had a pair of Ray-Ban aviators, like the classic ones. I had, I bought them about last year around Christmas time, they were $30 brand new authentic Ray-Bans on Neiman Marcus. I don't know why it was so cheap, but I snagged them up, tried them out, liked the way they looked, but I didn't like the way that they felt. They, the temple was just wire. I didn't like it. It felt like if I put them down, they just fall on the lenses and I didn't want them to scratch up. They didn't scratch up, but I was just afraid that over time they would. So I ended up selling it and I ended up getting like $60 in profit from that because it was like they're originally 160 I sold them for I think a hundred so made a profit off of them which I was very surprised that I mean I wasn't surprised that I could do it that's kind of why I bought it because I've always wanted to try them out and if I really didn't like it and I couldn't sell then I could just return it anyway one thing that I would like to point out that I forgot to do this is actually my second time um, filming this part because I realized that the second part was out of focus one thing I forgot to mention the other one is that if you look right there look do you see that serial code serial codes are on Prada lenses and then you'll also see that's gonna be harder to see look oh there we go you see where it says Prada up there it only says I'm on the one on the one so the one side has Prada the other side on the inside has the serial code there we go just want to make sure... Okay. So yes, I am going to talk... I don't think I talked about the receipt yet. So I bought these July 12th of last year. Let me make sure that's correct. July 12th of last year, yes. From Sunglass Hut Outlet, which was... I bought mine in the Rehoboth Beach Outlet. That's in Delaware. The retail price of these was, I believe, 
269. It was either 229 or 269. One of those. The outlet price was $129. And I had a $15 off coupon for the outlets. So I got it reduced to $114.99. No taxes because Delaware, they don't have sales tax. So that's all that the receipt says. I just like keeping the receipts with my sunglasses, just so I just have them. So I've definitely used them a lot. So they've definitely gotten their money's worth. I'm still using them a lot today. This is a great universal fit. A lot of people look great in aviators. It, um, as a wayfar wayfarers and aviators, almost everybody looks good in them. And even if you don't look good in them, if you like them, put them on. Um, so yes, if you want to get these in a different color, I have seen them in white with the, like, so the white temples with the gold trim and black temples with, I believe it was also the gold trim. It might have been silver trim, but I'm pretty sure it was gold trim. And I believe the white ones come in polarized. Polarized is obviously going to cost a little bit extra money. I don't know if I'd get these, this pair in polarized, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. I haven't seen these in stock, so you can always check online at a reputable seller for the serial code SPR53Q. That is this model serial number, not serial number, this is the model number. So if you search that up in Google. Um, you should be able to find it. I so you should probably Sunglass Hot will have it. Maybe eBay. eBay you have to be careful of with um, sunglasses because sunglasses are easily faked. Especially because this is this. I, I don't believe that these are acetate. These are just plastic and metal, which are very easy to copy. Very easy. So I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I'd be. There might be fake copies of these. I bought these at a at Sunglass Hut, which is. A, reputable place. It comes straight from Luxottica. Luxottica owns Sunglass Hut. So I know that these are authentic. But yeah, be careful when you're buying designer sunglasses if it's not from a direct um, source of sunglasses. If you have any questions to me about sunglasses, buying sunglasses, where I buy my sunglasses, let me know in the comments below. Also comment if you have any other comments, um, any questions. If you are, if you've already seen my sunglasses collection video, and you there was a pair that you really liked to look at, comment that down below so then that way I know which um, sunglass video to do next because I still have my Mew Mew sunglasses, I still have my Celine sunglasses, I still have my Chanel sunglasses, and I still have my. Ray-Ban sunglasses, yeah. So I have those four left after this one. And then I, the Versace sunglasses are already up. So I will link both of those videos. I will link Versace here and my sunglasses collection video here. Subscribe button right here. I would love it if you would subscribe, like this video, comment below. I love reading your comments and I'll answer them. Um, especially if you have any questions. I don't know, I'm not a genius on sunglasses, but I do know how to kind of just make sure if things are reputable or not. Oh, one last thing before I forget. Another authentic authentication tip. I know for product, a lot of sunglass companies do this. This is going to be hard to film, but if you look, oh, it's going to be, so oh, wait, let me clean that off just a bit. If you look at the temple, it's going to be so hard to see. I don't know if you can see. Can you see where it says Prada? And it also says it right on this one. So on the, I can't remember what these are called, but on like the little nose bridge, not nose bridge, on the little, woo, woo. On these nose beds, I think they're called nose beds. On little nose beds, they'll have engraving. I know that's true for Mew Mew. I know that's true for Celine. No, 
My Celines don't have them. I think this is... Miu Miu and Prada, which are owned by the same company, they do that. I don't think I have any other sunglasses with nose beds. But, um, if I find out, I'll let you know. Yes, so that's another authentication thing that you should be looking out for. So. So, yes. So, click on the videos. And... So, the Versace sunglasses video. And the sunglasses... Hot, not sunglasses. Hot, sunglasses haul collection video will be underneath of it, and the subscribe button here. Subscribe, like, comment, 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 comment. See y'all later. Bye.